Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to my new Fallout New Vegas series of Havasu Blues, where today I am very excited to be playing this because this is an oddity. It is a new quest and adventure mod for Fallout New Vegas. That's not something we see too often anymore, since, you know, New Vegas has been out for a very, very long time. But yeah, this came out back in May and got an update in June, and it's supposed to be quite long adding something like six to ten hours of content to the game including an entirely new world for us to explore which I assume has something to do with Havasu. So yeah, I'm very intrigued to see where we all go with this and quite happy that you guys in the previous episode or previous series rather did recommend that maybe I go and take a look at New Vegas stuff since we haven't done that in a while because yeah, I wouldn't have seen it otherwise. Now I actually lost a lot of my save files for New Vegas, but thankfully I still had our uh, save file from uh, working on the chain gang. So that's where we're currently in. I am still that character from from that with our NCR prison uniform here and crap loads of explosive weaponry which is magnificent so uh, yeah we're just gonna use that character see how it pans out we'll probably blow ourselves up at some point I'm sure and we are over in Novak because apparently how we start this whole thing up is by finding a note down in the office so I decided to take a sleep since it was like the middle of the night when I got here so yeah let's head into the uh, motel office and find a note which will uh, get things going. I'm assuming it's this crew needed thing here. What do we got? Crew needed. Oh, it actually did just start up a quest. The Great Expedition. Investigate the treasure hunters at Searchlight Airport. Okay, okay. Well, let's take a look at the note we just got though. Oh, wait. Nope, nope, nope. This is always the problem with switching between Fallout 4 and New Vegas. Things are in different spots in the pit boy. <laughs> <laughs> Seeking brave treasure hunters, me and the boys are setting out on an expedition into Arizona, hunting the big legendary stash of Big Bradley, oh, whip, I accidentally clicked out of there, of Big Bradley the Brawn. That is a name right there, BBB, okay. However, we are one member short on our crew, so we're hiring a mercenary to come with us. 100 caps payment up front, wow, that's not a lot. And you'll get an even share of the loot when we get our hands on it. Come see us at the Searchlight Airport if you're interested. Oh boy, I don't think on this character we ever made it out to Searchlight, so... Ooh. Well, we can go to Camp Searchlight or the Raided Farmstead. You know, I don't feel like getting irradiated right now, so let's go to the Raided Farmstead. <laughs> And go south from there. Oh boy, alright, we got a little bit closer than I thought. I was a little bit worried that we, uh... Well, yeah, I guess we did kind of go down that way, didn't we? Hmm, cool. Well, to the Raider Farmstead. And yeah, head down to the airport. Oh, this is gonna be great. I I forgot that we were heading to Arizona, too. I was reading the whole mod... Oh god, hi, people! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Oh, it said raided. There's people here, though. All right, well, there we go. Let's kill you. Boom. That's one dead. That one's running at me. Oh, how dare they stab me? I would shoot you with a grenade, but you are far too close for that. All right, Eddie's doing a good job. He took care of the others. I think he killed three, and I only killed two. All right, I can, I can live with that, though. Boy, I'm actually glad I didn't have out my... Uh, Oh, they're still red. Somewhere over there. Too far. Glad I didn't actually have my uh, grenade launcher equipped, though. That could have been real bad for me. <laughs> oh my, I actually think... I actually think Eddie took out a few more than I thought. <laughs> he took out the vast majority of the people. I don't need any more grenade rifles. I've already got a couple of those, but I'll take his grenades. Oh, more grenades? Sweet. And we'll take that. And actually, even though I literally just said it's probably good that I didn't have that out, uh, do we want to go with the 25 millimeter grenade launcher or down to our grenade rifle? Or our grenade launcher. Jesus, we have three different guns. Well, no, I guess that that, uh, that uses the same grenades as these. Let's use you. Yeah. That seems fun. Okay, and head this way. Actually, I just remembered that this doesn't do as much damage as this. 
And this, oh wait, no, nope. and this we use to pr repair. Yes, that grenade launcher is used, I was keeping it around to repair this thing. So let's actually just use the crappy grenade rifle right now. That'll work. Things go boom, they die, that's all we need. <laughs> that's all we need in life. Alright, let's get this waypoint while we're here. I mean, we're not going to need it since we're heading to Arizona. Yay. All that Brahmin. Matthew's Animal Husbandry Farm. Noise. Oh, you poor, poor Brahmin. Left all by your lonesome self out here. Some aspiring Brahmin Baron could really uh, take them all up and have quite the supply. <laughs> But alright, let's get over to the rally point. And we should be fine level-wise for this, because I think we're level 15, and the mod page did say that the mod is sort of uh, geared towards level 10. So yeah, we should be more than fine. Oh, there was someone down there. Hello! Got him! <laughs> God, I love explosives. Oh, I'm definitely gonna blow myself up with them at some point, though. I love them, but I rarely use them because I always make myself go boom. All right, but yeah, so we should be fine level-wise. Oh my god, we're taking a plane? Sweet. How the hell do I get in there? Hmm. Oh, there's holes in the fence. I think we got uh, the holes over there. I don't think there's actually any holes in the fence. I think we've got... Oh boy. Uh, why did? I, why am I choosing to do this? Oh jeez, we're gonna break our ankles. Oh boy. All right. Okay. And we're alive. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to no clip through here, frankly, but let's not, let's not, oh boy, there's robots in there that I'm going to have to kill. Eddie! There you are, buddy. There's a good robot. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to go down through the hole and to get into there. You know what? We're probably actually going to want to have out the Gauss rifle. Yep, 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 yep. In fact, we may want to try and clear some things out before going in, but I'm not seeing them from here. Oop, jump on up. Oh, come on, come on! Oh, Jesus. Okay, stand up. There we go. Not seeing the red dot that's over there. Oh, there it is! Oh, it was scorpions! Why was I thinking it was robots in here? Well, it's dead. I could have sworn that there were robots. It's been so long since I've been to Camp Searchlight. Is that one over there? No, I don't think it is. Alright, well, let's continue. Let's make our way in. Alright, I'm not seeing any more red, but that means nothing. Oop. Okay, yeah, surprisingly nothing. Alright, cool. <laughs> I was a little worried because I remember Camp Searchlight having more things wanting me to- Oh, there's all the things wanting me dead. I'm gonna go this way. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. All the reds over there. Eddie, ignore them. Ignore them, Eddie. Let's just go this way. I wonder if it's gonna be a problem having Eddie with me for this mod. I don't know. Alright, well, we got nothing chasing us, so we're good. Let's get over the airplane. Freaking cool. <laughs> I guess we do gotta get to Arizona somehow. Pretty sweet that they got a functioning plane though for us to take. Hi folks, how are you guys? Oh, we got two people here. I mean, you're the one I gotta talk to. So we got Rally and Paul. Hi Paul. Don't bother me. Oh, but who are you? I wanna bother you. Just one of Rally's crew members. Uh-huh. So what do you do here? Mechanical work. All right, man, a few words. Bye-bye. Anyone else? I know we got to talk to Rally here, but is there anyone else somewhere, like on the other side of the plane? Nope. Just those two. Okay, well, to Rally we go. Hello, sir. What's up, friend? Hear about the job? I am. Where'd you get the plane from, though? We found the base of it lying around. Then my boy Paul here worked his engineering magic to make the engine run. Sweet. We've also spent thousands of caps buying rare machine parts that we need to get her running. Oh, but nice. it's all an investment, baby. All right, all when right. If we find the treasure, we're going to make the caps back tenfold. I like where you're going with that. So, who are you? 
They call me Rally. I'm a mercenary and a treasure hunter. All right. One of the better, if you ask me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, why do they call you Rally? They call me Rally because I'm the best driver this side of the Colorado River. Drive what, Can't though? Can't say I have too much experience with piloting an airplane, though. But I'm sure it's as easy as driving a stick shift. What are you driving, though? There's no cars in this world. <laughs> Alright, so, hey, yeah, what's this treasure, then? I heard a rumor from a guy at a bar in Freeside. Mm -hmm. He was boasting real good about riches hidden away. Really? You're going on a giant expedition based on a rumor? Nah, man. I'm not one for chasing baseless rumors. I've double-checked everything. Uh -huh. Shit, I've even got a map to the place. Oh, well, uh, I guess, yeah, that's all I got. I'm here for the job. Yeah, I figured. You look like a seasoned traveler itching for some action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I would ask about credentials or something, but huh? we're out here in no man's land, and I want to get going as soon as possible. What so, possible are credentials you ready to would go I have? Right now, or do you need to prepare? Oh, yeah, no, I'm good, but what credentials would I have in this world? I mean, unless I was a part of, like, one of the major factions, like the NCR, they would probably give credentials. Legion, I doubt, would. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Now, hang on a moment there. We're only hiring a single contractor. Tell Aww. your friend that they can't come with us. Then we can set off. All right, Eddie, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, how do I tell him to go home? I haven't done this in a very long time. Uh, I guess talk to you. Yeah, there we go. Hi, Eddie. I'm sorry, friend, but... Protocol way, protocol open. Companion protocol terminate. I'm sorry, don't make those beeping noises at me. End companion protocol. His beeping sounds sad. He has returned to Prim. Oh no, the enhanced sensors perk. I love that perk. Ah, oh, dang it. Rally, you suck. He's a robot. He doesn't need pay. <laughs> you ready to head out? Or just here to chat? Well, I'm curious if there's any more chatting to be done. There's not, so yeah, let's go. Okay, I like that. Someone who comes prepared and ready to go. Get on the plane, and let's get this show on the road. Or, uh, the sky. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's head to Arizona. Oh, cool, we're in the plane! Sweet! You awake the back there? I am! You put your stuff in a box behind you. The flight is only going to take about half an hour, so don't get too comfortable back there. <laughs> okay, that was cool that we also had a... Oh, oh God, uh, with the help of a carrion. All right, oh, we're getting, like, a credit sequence here, an intro credits. A Fallout New Vegas mod in two acts? Oh, is it? Hey, wait, what? Does that mean there's going to be another mod, or... What do we got here? I'm waiting to see other things before I... Can I move? I can't move. Havasu Blues! Oh, I love that logo. It looks better than the logo on the mod page. It's the same sort of basic thing, but the font for Havasu looks fancier here. I may be misremembering that. This is awesome, though. They put in some real work into that. <laughs> I've never seen that with a mod before. Yeah, and I can't move, by the way. And also, those chairs look real small. So, what are we waiting for here? We're above Arizona right uh -huh. now. We'll land shortly. Cool. Where are we landing? We're gonna we're gonna crash, aren't we? I have a feeling we're gonna crash. Boy, I also hope this music isn't copywritten. <laughs> I just thought about that. I may have to entirely turn off the audio in this portion of the video. Also, that is misaligned up there. That doesn't seem safe for an airplane. This, like, central bit. Wait, what's that? Oh, no! Shit. Damn it, we're hit! I what called it. Is firing at us? Who is firing at us? I called it, we were crashing, though. Oh, I knew no, that was gonna happen. Going down. Brace no! I better not have all of my stuff taken away when we crash, because he said all my stuff was in a crate. Oh, no. I didn't even think about that. Called it, we were cr crashing, though. That's just, you know... That was bound to happen. <laughs> uh, that was neat, though. I liked it. Oh, I'm alive somehow. Ooh, lost and naked. Oh, they did take my stuff. Son of a. Oh, what do we look like? I don't remember what we look like. Huh. Find out where I am. I gotta go that way, huh? All oh, my limbs are broken. I have like no HP. All of my things, except for my emergency NCR radio. <laughs> And a handyman jumpsuit. And a few random bits and bobs. Okay. <sighs> Crap. 
crap. Oh, I hate when mods do this to you. And games in general. Stop taking my crap away from me. I have, like, no health. If I fall, I'm gonna die. Okay, well, we're, we're good. We're good so far. I don't have a shovel to get this grave. Dang it. Oh, and I'm getting irradiated. No, it's... Alright, alright. Let's go over here. There's a door, apparently. Oh, hey, thanks for the arrow. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Alright, well, I need to look for things first. Oh, nothing! Oh, come on! <laughs> I mean, I know it's wanting me to go this way, but I, I gotta take a look at stuff. I'll take those. Saturday Night Knife Factory. All right. Or Saturday Night, not Saturday Night. <laughs> so it, it took my brain a moment to process there. Do we have a map of this world? I just thought about that. We do. Oh my god, I love this mod already. Voice acting's been good. That intro sequence was good. We actually have a map of our world we're going to explore here. That's awesome. Saturnite Knife Factory. Cool. All right, well, let's go up here. Let's follow all the arrows and hopefully get my stuff. I mean, I, I keep trying to run out of habit, but I can't because we're crippled. Uh, hello? Box of... Oh, nothing. Oh, come on! Oh, 12 ga or 20 gauge rounds. Dang it. All right, how, how do we live? I don't know. And we go to the... Oh, I didn't see what they said. Shantytown something. It should tell us in... Shantytown Connecting Cave. Oh, hello. All right. Oh, I don't like that all my stuff got taken away, though. I hate when games do that to me. Oh, hi, folks! How are you? Please don't shoot me with that. I'm almost dead. Oh, yikes. You're not feral. I'm not! I almost shot you there. Thank you for not doing that. What? Where am I? Our little shanty town ain't got a name, but we call the surrounding area Rad World. Oh, cool. Could you be a bit more specific about the whereabouts? I guess this place was called the Eagle Crags Industrial Development Area before the war. Uh huh. It's in the western part of the state that we used to call Arizona back in the day. Okay. And as you could guess, it was an industrial area. Yes, that would make sense. It's pretty remote, which is both good and bad for us. The seclusion makes raid parties rare, but that also means trade is rare. Mm -hmm. But raid parties have never been an issue in the valley. It's the radiation and the ferals that cause trouble. Yeah, I mean, we're getting a little bit of radiation out there, so who are you, though? I'm Johnny. Hi, Johnny. The first and the only line of defense in this here shanty town. Ooh, now, okay. Now, who are you, stranger? There's not many who waltz into this radiation-drenched hellhole. Well, I'm Kotobos. I guess I crash-landed here. Oh, so you came in that plane, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, I found your friend, but he wasn't very... talkative. Let me guess, the mechanic I dude. I not think there was anyone else around. Glad you survived, though. And you haven't attacked me yet, so you're likely in your right mind. I am. You do look pretty beat up, though. Plus, I have no weapons to attack How you. How about this? I'll open the door here behind me, and you can go find Yuko. She's not exactly a doctor, but she knows how to tend to a broken bone or two. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Johnny. Take care now. We've seen enough death around here. You know, I like you. I like you. Uh, wait, so how long have I been out? Yeah, how long have I been out? Oh, that thing crashed hours ago. I heard two big bangs outside, so I went out to investigate. And you didn't see me? I saw a big plane crashed into the cliff and debris everywhere. Mm-hmm. Where's my stuff? Your stuff? I don't know. Probably up in town. The settlers all came down to scavenge what they could. Son of a... Despicable, if you ask me, but times are tough. <sighs> How am I going to get all my stuff back? So who are you again? As I said, ha. I'm Johnny. I love Used the other exasperation. The quarry down the road back before the war. Okay. Now I'm just trying to survive here with the other sane ghouls. Nice. All right. I like, I like the exasperation at the beginning of that, though. So, uh, you mentioned my friend. Where is he? Oh, when I said he's not talkative... I meant that he's dead. Oh. I buried him by the tree where your plane crashed. Oh, the grave. Okay, yeah, I saw that. We need a shovel. <laughs> Keep safe, stranger. You too, Johnny. Thank you for being so kind. Alright, can I... Oh, we got anything I can take here? No, oh, hello. Caravan shotgun. We may need you. And it's not steel, so, I mean... Why not? Oh, those are... Oh, those are just the halls. I'll still take them, though. We need things. We need things. Arizona strong beer. 
Heck yeah! Oh, 20 gauge rounds there is what I needed. Let's take a look at that strong beer. Noise. <laughs> All right, in we go. Whoop! Door opens that way. Anything else I can take? Hello, more 20 gauge rounds. Beautiful. Random junk. Hello, turret. You're looking good. Okay, I know we're in a safe place right now, but still, I would feel better having a gun. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, well, let's go find this uh, Yuko, was it? Is that, is that what we're doing now also? What's the name of the quest now? Did that change on us? Lost and Naked is still. Yeah, okay, yeah, and find Yuko. Got it. And entrance to Arizona Wasteland. All right. Hi, folks. We discovered Shantytown. Who are you? Just a settler. Oh, hello, sniper rifle. It's not, it's not. Oh, I only have one bobby pin. It's not red. Got it. Considering, I don't know if we're going to get our stuff back. We're taking it. Anything we can get, we need. Uh, so I'm heading that way, huh? Alright. What's over here, though? I must look. It is in my nature to snoop. Alright, that's just a shack. Ah, I don't need more radiation. Okay, so we're up here. Alright, alright. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's, yeah, let's go up this way. I need to get fixed up. <laughs> I do want to snoop no more, but I also want to get fixed up so I can actually sprint. Okay, up this direction. We don't got much ammo for that sniper rifle, but hey, it's at least something for later. Oop, hello. Empty Arizona strong beer. Ah, why do they gotta be empty? I could always use another drink. Nope, that's not something I can open. Hello? Oh, just settler. Never mind. God, I'm so worried I'm gonna fall off the side. <laughs> With my luck, I would. Okay, let's go talk to this Yuko. Hopefully get repaired. Hi, are you Yuko? Hello. Haven't seen you around here before. Yeah, I'm new. So, who are you? I'm Yuko Takashi. I guess I'm kind of like the brains around here. Mm -hmm. Been living on this cliffside for a while now. Okay. It's not very exciting, for better and worse. Excitement these days mostly involves murder and gunfights. Oh. But out here, at least we won't get robbed by any two-bit thief looking to fund his next fix. Got so it. I guess it's not too bad. Okay, okay. Well, Johnny told me to uh, come to you and get patched up. Well, I'm not actually a doctor, but I could give you some first aid. Thank you. I'll take a look at that leg of yours. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, this is one nasty fracture, all right. I recommend taking a rest and let it heal naturally. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Though, you don't look like the sitting still type. No. Here, you can take this to alleviate some of the pain. Thank you. So, where's my gear? I want all my stuff. Your gear? You mean from that plane crash? I'm not sure. I want my grenade launchers. You're hiding something from me. Thank you, speech. Right, yes. We do have most of the stuff that landed on the ground after the crash. However, there was some great loot in there. Yeah, I know! That stuff could help us survive for another year or two. I'd be a fool to give it up for free. Yeah, considering how much I tend to hoard in my inventory, yeah, I probably could keep them going for a year or two. <laughs> uh, then what am I supposed to do, huh? You know what? I'll go look around for your gear if you do some favors for us around here. Sound like a deal? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Great. I'm in need of clean water. I've been trying to grow crops, but I believe my water source is contaminated. Mm -hmm. Could you check out the water treatment plant down below and see if the water is usable? Then I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that Kor up in the tavern had something that needed doing. And pay a visit to Nigel in the upper cave. Oh, Nigel. I'll go see Johnny again. He's kind of the leader around here, so he always has stuff that needs doing. Okay, okay, well. I mean, I would much rather... Oh, why? The first thing we encounter that's steel. Dang it. What stuff... Nope, that's not able to be opened. That's, that's steel. Unfortunate. Everything steel in here. Ooh, hi, cave. <laughs> well, all right. Well, we got our health back, which is good. 
<gasps> Yuko's terminal. Hello, Lord. Journal entry one. Finally got this terminal working. Hello, world. Yuko Takahashi here reporting from the dusty bowl of Eagle's Crag. Uh, who am I kidding? This is just a damn note to myself to keep track of what I'm doing and for anyone else who ends up here after I'm gone. I ended up here after getting chased away by some angry settlers when wandering the wasteland. That was about three weeks ago now. And the small settlement of shacks here have been both a blessing and a curse. Nobody will bother us here, but that also means nobody will trade with us. And the location makes it hard to go out for scavenging runs. Johnny has been here for longer than I have and seems to be a bit jaded about the whole area. He's got good reasons, though. I heard he's lost a good amount of friends to the valley. The supplies I brought with me have now run dry, and it seems that nobody else in town has any good food or water either. I know that us ghouls technically don't need to eat, do they not? I don't remember that being a thing. Hmm. Or drink to sustain our bodies, but we do still feel hunger and thirst. Ah, uh, all right. On the upside, though, I don't have to sleep outside anymore. I managed to convince Jessica and Esther to share their shack with me so I could finally say goodbye to my cardboard fort. <laughs> Number two. All right, even though we're this far south, it actually gets pretty cold during the winter here in Arizona. It's nothing like up in Minnesota, that's for sure. I've seen my fair share of hypothermia and limbs of ghouls straight up falling off. At least I don't need to deal with that anymore. We got a visitor yesterday. He had a bunch to trade, luckily, so we got our hands on some food and water to ration out. It's not top shelf stuff, but I guess that's a thing of the past. I think I'll start looking for a permanent solution to our supply supply problem when winter is over, but I don't know whether I'll succeed or not. Esther went down to the valley this morning and hasn't come back yet, and Jessica's be beyond herself with worry. She's already packing her backpack for rescue operation. I try to discourage her and have her wait at least another day before setting out, but to no avail, she's probably going to head out before nightfall. It's probably all my fault, too, because I've been mentioning that I needed more wiring for the grow lights. All right, number three. Esther and Jessica still haven't come back. They're dead now. And by now, I don't think they ever will. Maybe they died. Maybe they just left the valley. I guess the shack is mine now, so I can start giving their stuff away to people who still left here. Not that there's many of them left. Most either leave or give in to the hunger and go feral. I've gotten the planters up and running, and I've found some good soil deeper into the caves. Now I just need some seeds and the operation will be up and running. Finally, stuff is looking up around here. Johnny seems doubtful, but I'm putting all my eggs in this basket, so this is going to work. All right. I have managed to get my hands on some corn. Who doesn't love corn? It's delicious. Can't wait to plant these and get this project of mine finally off its feet. If this works, I can feed the entire settlement. I'm running on fumes, but I can't give up hope. We're barely staving off the hunger with, scaven with scavenged pieces of meat. The crops are making steady progress, but the rest of the people around here don't seem to agree with how much water I'm using for my project. They say it's gotten worse outside, but I've been too immersed in my project that I barely leave the caves these days. Alright, and the final one. I bet about her water being crappy now. We had a power outage for several days, and I think it severely damaged the crops. We'll see how it goes, but I may have to replant another batch. Clive and Hans weren't happy. I mean, it says wasn't, but I'm going to weren't considering the context here with the recent decisions Johnny made. So they left town. The new match I planted have started to wither. I do not yet know the cause, but I suspect it's the water. Ha I was right. I need to replant. We've lost another three to the hunger, and I'm afraid it might catch me soon, too. Their batch was doing so well after I took care to remove as much radiation from the water as possible, but I guess the cave spring water just isn't doing it for the crops. Perhaps the treatment plant down the valley has something better I can use. All right, nice. So about all about her, you know, trying to do the whole farming thing. I like it. A little bit of lore about the town here, too. Can I steal any of these? I cannot. Dang it. Why is everything in here suddenly steal? Darn. But, all right. I think that's a good place for us to end for the day. I mean, we are at the half hour mark. So next time, we will go and... Oh, boy. We got a lot of things to do outside. <laughs> but, but... It should be fun. I'm liking this so far, though. We've got good voice acting. We're in a whole new part of the world. And I'm intrigued to see where this all does take us. But hopefully you all have enjoyed this, too, and you come back for the next one. But until that time, thank you for watching, as always. Well, have a good one.